Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about some things you could do that should save you a lot of time. Specifically, I'm going to demonstrate four different ways you could copy the settings from a processed image onto images that aren't processed. Now, I have this image here of these two trees and I processed this image. And while I was here, I was taking a number of different images. It was a really windy day, as you could tell by the uh, waves crashing over the break wall off in the distance on Lake Erie. And it was hard to hold my camera steady. So some of the images are crooked. So then I would take another one that was straight. And then I was just kind of framing those trees in slightly differently and putting the horizon in different spots as well. So I have all these different shots. Well, I already processed one image, and I'd like to just copy the processing from this image onto those other images. Now, the first way I'm going to show you will allow you to copy the processing just to one other image. Uh, that is, when you're on the processed image, over here on the left-hand panel of the Develop module, just click on Copy. It will come up with copy settings. Well, what do you want to copy? And in this case, I'll copy everything. Now, there may be some times where you don't want to copy some things. For example, if this original image was crooked and I straightened it, and the image I'm copying it to wasn't crooked, I probably wouldn't want to copy the crop, you know, the straightened angle. But in this case, I didn't straighten that first image. It's just the way it is, and I didn't really crop it at all, so it's okay to have all of those checked. So I'll click on copy. Now I'll go to the very next image and right next to copy on the left hand panel is paste. And I'll click on paste and you can see it pasted all those settings to that image. Now specifically this image is crooked so I could come in here and go to the uh, crop tool and just straighten it. So that would be just one thing that I would have to do to this specific image but it's still a lot faster than trying to process it from scratch. Now that's one way you could copy settings from one image uh, to another. Let me just undo that. Another way you could do it is when you're on the processed image, go directly to the next image you want to process. Let's just say right here. And then over here on the right hand panel on the develop module, just click on the word or on the button, I should say previous. And it will take those settings from the previous image you were just on and copy those settings to the image you're currently clicked on. So you could see that that would save you a lot of time as well. Now, another way you could do this, and this is the way that probably I most often use, particularly when I have a lot of images that I need to copy settings to, is I will process one. Then what I'll do is I'll select all the others in the film strip that I want to copy the processing to. And there's different ways you could do that. You could just hold the shift key down and click like on the last image in the series. Or you could hold the command or control key down and just click on the images you want the settings copied to. So I have them all selected down here. So I have that first image. That's the, process, the image that has the processing done to it. And then I have four more images that aren't processed at all. Then what I'll do is I'll go over here to the far right hand side and click on sync. And when I do that, the synchronize settings dialog box comes up. And this is the exact same as the copy dialog box, which came up with that first way I showed you to copy settings. And again, you could copy everything or just selective things or synchronize everything, I guess I should say. And I'll just click on synchronize. And you can see now that each of the images now have that exact processing done to them that I did. So I could come in now and straighten, like that one image was pretty crooked, so I could come in and straighten that if I wanted to. Now, the final way I'm going to show you isn't so much a way you could copy settings, it's, a just, it's just a way you could simultaneously process multiple images. To do that, Click on one unprocessed image, I am right now, and then click on one or more uh, other images that aren't processed. In this case, I'll just select all three of these unprocessed images that are left in the film strip. Then go over here on the right-hand panel and see where it says sync. Notice there's a little toggle switch there. Just push that on. Now it says auto sync. 
Now when I go up to, let's say, the Basic tab, and let's say I bring Highlights down, you'll notice that it brings the highlights down in all three images. Now you could see that they all have little processing badges on them. So I could then come in, let's say, and open that up. I could then get a white point, a black point, and you could see it's writing update to three images. So I could come in and do processing to all three images simultaneously. Uh, bring that down a little bit. So that you could see down in the film strip, they're all processed. I'll click on the second one. This one's a crooked one. And then I'll click on that last one. And that one is straightened. But you can see how they're all now processed. Just remember to turn this off uh, when you're done because you'll accidentally maybe be processing images that you don't want to process if you leave that on. So that's four different ways, really three different ways, you could copy the processing from one image to one or more images that aren't processed, and one way that you could just simultaneously process a bunch of images at the same time. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.